So today we're going to be talking about um, the North and South node in the birth chart. And today we're just using America's birth chart just as an example. In astrology, so the nodes, what they are, they're not planets, but they are as significant as any of the planets. So there's a North node, also known as the ascending node, and a South node, also known as the descending node. They are astronomical points where the uh, orbit of the moon intersects what's known as the ecliptic, which is the perceived path that the sun moves through our sky, which would be uh, relative to Earth's path or orbit around the, the sun. So it's the intersection point of the, the moon's path through our sky and the sun's path through our sky. So there are two intersections, known as the nodes, and when there is a new moon or a full moon near the node is when an eclipse happens. So when a new moon near either of the nodes happens, we have a solar eclipse. When a full moon happens near one of the nodes, we have a lunar eclipse. So that's the, the basic mechanics of the nodes. In astrology, uh, the orbit of the nodes is 18.6 years, by the way. So they spend roughly uh, a year and a half per sign. Uh, the south node and north node are always exactly opposite of each other. So as one moves, the other one moves. Typically the sign that the south node is in are qualities which a person uh, shows. They, they have a, a prominence of, of those qualities. Uh, I would say in general, these are qualities which your soul uh, has in abundance and is being called to refine. So typically planets near the south node or in relationship charts when a person's sun is, is near another person's south node. Uh, I find those individuals tend to be compatible in relationships. Uh, I would say planets near the south node tend to be uh, prominent in the individual's personality, um, though not always. They, they may somehow be dysfunctional in some cases, like there's kind of an, an excess or, a, or some sort of dysfunctional quality to that, uh, the energy of that sign or planet as well, though, though not always. The North Node would describe uh, qualities that a person is seeking to develop in this lifetime. So this is what they're working on, so to speak. In addition to that, if there is a planet near the North Node, this is also going to be a planet that's emphasized in their spiritual mission in this life. Um, energetically, I've also found that the North Node tends to have an energizing quality. Things tend to be activated and, and energized when the North Node is touching it. So in the birth chart, a planet near the North Node tends to be energized. Uh, to where when the south node touches something, whether it be in transit or in the birth chart, there there's a there's a significant quality to it that it's almost like um, yeah it's it's like it's there it needs to be refined maybe is is the best way I can describe it. So this is something that I also invite people to ask questions and, and think critically about how they're showing up uh, in in your own chart and in the charts of people that that you know. Uh, also, planets that are in aspect to the nodes could be said to be part of a person's spiritual mission in life. So I found in particular planets that are square to the nodes, uh, that is roughly 90 degrees from, the, they would be 90 degrees from both of the nodes. Those tend to be prominent in an individual's life. Um, and it's like that's part of their spiritual mission is to develop whatever qualities are indicated by that planet and if a person has their sun or their moon square to the nodes that's going to be an indication that um, their soul is seeking to growth and has not provided the person with an option of uh, taking the easy path it's almost like they're they're 
signing up for a particular qual like a particular type of challenge and there's no getting out of it and so the soul then needs to to endure whatever the challenges are and find a way to to transcend them and so when the north node transits a person's sun or moon that's typically when there is um very often something external uh or it's something that is uh well sometimes could be very kind of uh, considered catastrophic uh, but something significant will very often happen that particularly if a person is not in alignment with their spiritual purpose uh, something's going to uh, like be forced to change and so the individual then can hopefully find their way back into alignment with their spiritual purpose to where when the south node makes transit what i found um, particularly when it's transiting the sun or the moon is something from the past will re-emerge some sort of old pattern or old relationship uh, that's going to be challenging uh, that needs to be dealt with so this is typically uh, it could be any sort of unhealthy pattern or habit or, or an unhealthy relationship very often uh, to where when the north node it's like things fall apart and a person has to kind of find like a new path at least that's what I've noticed in in my personal practice other astrologers may say something different though you could look at uh, the south node as like this is this is what you're seeking to resolve and uh, refine from your past and the North Node is what you're seeking to develop and create moving into your future.